So I'll start with a project I've done six years ago, and it's called Useful Advices for Photographers. And then I will show you some short overview of uh, my other projects, which are not all of them con connected to photography. <laughs> and uh, Useful Advices for Photographers, I, I started to make it uh, in 2005 as my final work for getting master degree in uh, film and TV academy in Prague. So <laughs> the concept is it's a one image is a wrong one and one image is a right one. I use the same scene and uh, there is never nothing more explained uh, uh, about a mistake. It's just a pure description. If you photograph a portrait in dark places, it's better to use the flash because otherwise it might be just a black. The inspiration for this work I got from uh, handbooks, photography handbooks. Sometimes they were published in 70s, 80s. And at the same time I was uh, using for my inspiration some uh, things what I've heard from, from photographers because I've been using in, uh, I've been working in uh, a newspaper as a reporter and then I heard uh, sometimes some advices for photographers how it's, it's the right way how to work. Uh, when you take a picture of cube, try to photograph it in a way that it doesn't look like quadra quadrangle. So this will be some short... Uh, I, the, the project useful advice is uh, I got uh, my master degree. And now with this master degree I can uh, teach in uh, academies or in universities or for, for some private schools. But I will show you the series uh, from my childhood. The first, uh, uh, when I was doing photography uh, unconsciously, just uh, I was uh, uh, enjoying the process of taking the pictures, the developing and enlarging, and I started to do <laughs> photography when I was something like, I don't know, not five, maybe something like six or seven. And uh, uh, this is uh, my teachers in the primary school. I would like to show you, this is a, a uh, I think it, it's 91 or 92 when I did, did these pictures and I was in some fifth or sixth grade. This is, uh, this is a teacher of uh, uh, gymnastics. This is a teacher uh, for English language. Uh, it's a teacher of uh, Russian language. One more teacher of Russian language. And these are my heroes. It's, uh, in the 90s, I uh, was really amazed by Sylvester Stallone and uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. So uh, uh, Rocky 1, Rocky 2, uh, uh, how was Sketch and something, uh, I don't remember, and Terminator and Commando. I was like really, there were these little uh, rooms in the cellars with the TV and very bad copies showing on VHS. So I was really, these are my heroes. And this is me. Uh, and uh, in this picture, I'm pretending uh, to be an old, stupid uh, grandma. <laughs> it's a self-portrait. At the same time, uh, we were doing uh, double eight millimeter films. Double eight is a format uh, uh, 16 millimeters. You film one side, then you film another side, and then you cut after developing. And my friend had uh, this camera, and uh, we were making films. And this, for example, we decided to stay, uh, we had to clean the classroom, this is me, uh, after the, our uh, uh, school day, uh, but uh, we were making some action uh, to make some uh, cinema. And this is my most uh, radical uh, work that I've ever done. It's called Adult Games. And uh, I was something like uh, nine or 10, I, I think something 10. And we're playing uh, the game of doctors in the bushes. And uh, as at that time, I had the camera with me. So I depicted uh, everything. So this is most uh, radical uh, photography i ever done. Before I went to Prague to study, I was working for two years in the newspaper as a photo reporter. And then uh, I went to Prague to study photography because it was not possible to study in, uh, in Latvia. And I finished my studies, and, and, and I said to myself before yeah, the studies or during this, I will never ever to work in the newspaper again. And I finished my studies and I have no money, I need to find the work, so I found the work in the Prague, in the newspaper. To make, uh, to have some motivation to work there, 
I thought I should make a project. I, I need money and I need the art project out of it. And what I started to do uh, with the Photoshop, I started to make uh, uh, absurd uh, manipulation with the images. For example, here you see more buttons on the shirt, how it's in the real. And uh, I made, the, I, my idea was to make a, uh, to change something in the image, what doesn't change the content. Uh, this is a picture of a new operation room where I enlarge uh, one of the lamps to make it more impressing. <laughs> And I wrote on the lamp uh, super uh, as well. It's bigger and uh, with the super. The next work is uh, called uh, Photographer Without a Camera. And it's, uh, I started to do it in uh, Stuttgart when I was there at the one month residency. And uh, the original idea was to come to the stores where they sell uh, photo cameras like MediaMarkt or Saturn and that I put inside my SD card and I take a picture with these cameras. So after some time I decided that uh, I should change a bit my concept and I opened the packages of SD cards inside the shop and I loaded the, in, inside the cameras these SD cards and left. And after some few days I came back just to collect these uh, cards. And so at the end I was collecting the images uh, of some other people came to test the camera. What is interesting for me in this case, when people are coming uh, to take the, uh, to take, they don't come to take the pictures, they come to test the camera. So in the moment when you uh, test the camera, you, you almost never think about image. And next, I think the last one, uh, it's called Super. I was invited this uh, last, already last year in the September to participate in uh, one uh, art festival. It's called uh, Survival Kit. Some curator invited me and one French artist and uh, she asked me to make an uh, intervention. And this uh, subcategory was called the uh, superstructure. And I always, always usually work very direct, simple way. So if it's called uh, the concept of this uh, uh, little part from this event, uh, this art festival is superstructure. So I thought, okay, and it's an intervention. So I make uh, stickers with super, <coughs> different types. And I left them at the entrance of the festival, at the info table. So the people can come, take the stickers, and glue next to the artworks uh, which they like. <laughs> so in fact, I destroyed uh, all the, well, uh, kind of changed the meaning of many works.